Good morning. My name is Danielle Scott, the STEAM teacher here at Highland Springs Elementary. Today we have Miss Hampton's fifth grade class and we are going to review oceans. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? Yes. All right, so let's do our song to review first, then we'll answer some questions. All right? Swim across my ocean. ocean. Swim across my ocean. ocean. Swim across my ocean. ocean. And explore with me. First we have the continental, then the continental, then the continental, then the oceanic, then abyssal, then the underwater sea mount. Three basic motions of the ocean. A. Three basic motions of the ocean. A. Three basic motions of the ocean. A. We have the waves, currents, tides. Tide, we have the waves, currents, tide. Oh, I need some energy. Energy, 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 energy. Full chain. We have the sun and two plankton, phytoplankton and zooplankton, small fish, big fish, red fish, blue fish, baby shark. Do 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 do. Baby shark. Do 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 do. Baby shark. Do do do. I am in the deepest, the coldest part of the ocean. This is a hands up question. So think about it. I'm in the deepest, darkest, coldest part of the ocean. Hands up in three, two, one. Yes, ma'am. The oceanic church, what do we do? Good answer, good answer. Now this is my favorite place. I like to go swimming in this part of the ocean. Akira, the the what? The continental shelf. Is she correct? Yes. She's absolutely correct. Now let me think. Let me think. I'm a flat part of the ocean. I'm at that flat part. Anybody know? Anybody know where I am? Terry on. Oh, is she correct? Good answer. Good answer. So now let's draw our ocean floor. Okay. I'm gonna draw it and then we're gonna talk about it. So, here I am, then we have a big drop off. Oh my goodness. Then this is so deep. All right, here we go. Now let me draw some water. All right, here's number one. Raise your hand, where am I if I'm at number one? Where am I? Star. Tell her to be confident. She said continental shelf. You said continental shelf? All right, continental shelf. Good job. Now we're dropping off. Who could tell me, listen to the question, who could tell me what falls down that shelf? It's some, a bunch of different things that fall down that shelf. It's little pieces. Yes, ma'am. That is the continental slope, but what falls down that continental slope? Yes. Sediments. What sediments? What are sediments? Little tiny, rock. Little, tiny pieces of rock. Good job. Now we're at number three, which I like to say is this crease in my arm, right? What is that called, guys? Continental rise. It's where all those rocks and um, sediments, it settles right there. Then I have this flat part right here. This flat part, number four. What would I call number four? Think about it. What would I call number four? Yes, the abyssal plane. You guys gotta give him credit, come on. Good answer, good answer. Now this is my favorite part, but it's not, it's, it's where a lot of animals don't live because it's so dark and so cold and it's the deepest part. What would number five be? Yes, sir. The trench. the trench? I don't. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Number six. What do we have as number six? Number six. You guys want to think about that? It's an underwater something. Something that's underwater. Something that's underwater. Yes. The underwater sea mouth. The underwater sea mouth. Good job. All right. 
And then this is above water, but this is a volcano or a mountain, correct? Yeah. All right. So do you remember when we learned about rocks, correct? Yeah. There is a verse in the rock song that's my favorite, and it starts, you don't have to sing it, went to the what? Beach. I went to the beach for a visit, right? Today, we're going to go to the beach for a visit, and you guys are going to have to be engineers and lifesavers, okay? Let me tell you how you're going to be engineers and lifesavers. On your tables, you have straws, scissors, and plastic wrap, okay? When we go to the beach, sometimes we see people that need help because they don't know how to do what? So it's our job. We're seeing that they need help. We have to build a boat. There's 10 people that need to come on that boat with us, okay? You guys have to build a boat out of the straws and the plastic wrap strong enough to hold those 10 people and bring them back to safety, okay? Now, you have 10 popsicle sticks. The popsicle sticks are your people, all right? They are your people. Yes, ma'am. So we're like lifeguards? You're like lifeguards, but you're gonna be engineers first, you know why? Because you have to do what? Build the boat, right? So you're gonna build the boat, you're gonna use the plastic wrap straws, and you have scissors. And what you need to do is figure out how to make that structure, how to make that boat, so that those popsicle sticks, all of them, can fit on that boat so you can bring those people back to safety. Do you understand what you're gonna do? Yes. All right, so we're gonna do stand up, hand up, pair up before we go to our table. So, remember you do that silently. Stand up. Hand up. Pair up. Pair up, walk around. Find a partner, pair up. You got about five more seconds. When you have your partner, stand next to them and high five them. So don't use the water until you have built your boat already, okay? That's what you guys gotta think about, okay? So you guys can cut this, use this. No, don't use to peek, don't use this. Use this. Don't use this until you built the boat, okay? So guys, make sure, make sure that you don't use the popsicle sticks yet. You have to build your boat first. You, when you test it, you'll put the popsicle sticks. Yep. Nope. So you can cut, and you can alter it any way you want to, but you need a boat. Yep. So this is how this is going to go in there, okay? So you got to figure it out. So, so if we're at the ocean, right, we need water, right? So take this off, and, and what's going to happen is, these are our people. We don't need our people yet, right? What we need to do is figure out exactly once you finish building it. So you need to figure out, you want to cut these, you want to do whatever you want to do to make that boat. And you can use this however you choose. So you have to figure out, this is what you're going to use to make the boat. Okay? Don't get frustrated. All right? And then you have scissors so you can cut whatever you need, except for this, because these are the people. But you, so you have 10, so you well, got to figure out how to make it so that this? these can fit on there. Should we use this? Right. All right. So these are your 10 people, right? <laughs> so you don't need them just yet. Yeah. Oh, I see what Brianna's is trying to do. So do you guys have to cut it all of them? Uh, no. So it can be two two Just two. most of them. So it can be like, all right. okay, leave two out. So now, figure out, that's, that's nice. So figure out how to put the straw and this together so that when you test it out, when you're putting this on there, it's strong enough to fit all the people on there once you put it in the water, okay? So you guys got to talk about it. So how can you squeeze it in? Nope. No glue, no tape. Oh, look at what she's doing. That's a great idea. Nope. So you guys, you don't have to keep this as one single piece. Why not? You can, oh, okay. You guys can figure out how to. So we like, but we don't know how to do it. Right it. You could. That's a good idea. This cleans. So you could also make a shape. And then, you know? <laughs> so you just have to figure out. Okay. This is just in case the water spills. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, so.
So he's making a shape right here. Look at what he's doing. So how can you use that with this to make it stay together? That's what I want to know. So make this into a boat. Do you want to cut the straws? Do you want to keep the That's our boat. Look, that's our boat. That's my boat. But I don't know. Should we dig all right, freeze for one second. I want you guys, I want to make sure you guys understand, okay? The popsicle sticks you do not need until your boat is already made. You're going to test the, out, the boat out by putting the popsicle sticks, which are the people, onto your boat when you're ready to test it. So right now, the only thing you should be using are the straws, the plastic wrap, and the scissors to cut whatever it is that you want. Comprende? Comprende. All right. So what shape are you guys making? Oh, and then how are you going to keep it together with that plastic wrap? So this is a good idea. So how can you make it stronger right here? Oh, put one on. Yeah, so try that. Are you guys still making the triangle? Yeah, I made this. It was the thing. No, this is good. You just want to make sure it's okay. You just want to make sure that it's big enough or small enough to fit in here to test it out. Okay. Well, you, it doesn't have to be small, but it just needs to fit in there. Oh, yeah, I got to cut it even. I got to cut some of this. Okay. There you go. I need to cut the So is this the top or the bottom? This is the top. So how are you guys going to make the bottom? But I just said, the extra oh, sticks. Oh, yeah, like this. No, the yeah. sticks just beat the people. Look at this. You can. I'm just asking. And Have you the, thought about it? Oh, yeah, and then the bottom. And what are you using the plastic wrap for? Couldn't we, like, <coughs> we could use the plastic wrap. So like that. Tarion, is that the so side? <coughs> Should it, could it be like yeah, I'm, try, I'm trying to measure if it's going to make it, put it, put it, put the straw in there. All right, let's see. So, guys, oh, you guys have mastered that. But listen, make sure it's... Look, make sure it can fit in here. You got to make sure it can fit in there. So this is good. Maybe you can push them in a little bit more or cut it a little bit. So you just want to make sure that it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> or you could just cut this one, the ones on the end. What shape are y'all going for? Oh, like a canoe. Oh, that's cool. All right, so this is good. Now, what are we doing to this bottom piece? That's the bottom. We can't, we no, can't she. Like, we can't like go like this. Like, like let's triangle. make let, let's make it like this, like a canoe. So is this the bottom part? Yeah, but I don't. We don't have, like, yeah, yeah. You guys can figure out. You guys can figure out how to put this together. But remember, you have this. You guys aren't using it. Is this big or small enough to fit in there? I just want to make sure. And you guys can tighten this up a little bit. Tighten it so that it's not like, like roll it. And you know you have scissors. Does it have to be this big? Right. Good, 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 good. good. You said leave two You said that. Oh, well, one of us said it. Okay, so you gonna what are you gonna do with that? It's gonna be the the outside. It's gonna be like what keeps it together, basically. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I just told them like a burrito. You gotta roll it till it closes. See, it's, it's getting tighter. Mm -hmm. So that's what you guys can help each other with, right here. I'm straighten this out for you. All right, you guys have five more minutes. Five more minutes, okay? I may give you a little extra time, but you have five more minutes. So think about how you can get this boat done in five minutes, because we have to test it out. I knew it was going to fly, To go with my straw. We have to even the straw. <laughs> it's okay, they're gonna fly everywhere. You guys are making it smaller? Good. 
Straighten this out for you. Okay, so what shape are you guys making again? Oh, like a canoe, right? Okay, so what are you gonna use this plastic wrap for? Like, how is this gonna be a part of the boat? Where are the people gonna sit? The people can sit. Like, will we, like, make it? Mm hmm. Out of this? Yeah. You wanna make seats out of this? Yeah. Okay, I want you to feel this. Is it heavy or light? It's light, right? So if I was in the water and I needed saving, would I be able to sit? If I was to make this a seat, would it be too light or too heavy? Too light. So how can you use this with the straws so that people can sit on this? You gotta use it with the straw. So how can you use it with the straw? With what you're making, because that's a good, that's good. How can you use it with this so that you can fit these people on there? What do you think? So do you want the people like this or in the middle? So how can you have this and this together so that the people can fit in the middle? That's what I want you three to think about, okay? I'm going to come back in just a second. You guys are having really good conversation. And look at you guys. If you guys don't you know, I'm gonna try to make, I'm gonna try to make so the pieces like that you haven't used, no, just try to shake them out a little bit, no. and then you can reuse it. See, this is what I mean. You keep getting stuck. That's good. Yeah, that's I'm gonna try to shorten. I'm gonna try to shorten down the pieces. We're doing a cut. It was kind of. It was kind of. It's the last cut. Yeah, it wasn't like the shape. But this is actually a pretty good shape. You just want to make sure that the straws are wrapped so they can stay together, right? Can we test Is that y'all's boat? Yeah. Okay, so put it in the water. Oh, it's floating. It's floating, right? Yeah. Okay, let's put it, hold on one second, let's put it in the middle. So now it's floating, wait one second. So each of you guys get a few. You're gonna go one at a time to see how many people you can save, okay? All right, and go slow. All right, now let's think about this real quick. How should we put the people on the boat? Should we lay them? Should we? How? What should we do? I think we should lay them. No, we should lay them. Lay them this way. People don't. Let's do trial and error. Yeah, but we gotta save them. You wanna be alive, right? All right. So, one person at a time. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> you gotta put it on the boat. To go slow. You go too fast. I was scared. Okay, you go slow. So we got two. Three. You see how you put it on there? You're going to make it fall. Gent to gentle. You want to just take these out? Four. That thing goes. Oh, what Ooh. shape are you guys making? A stop. Look at uh -oh. I mean, Okay, so oh, it's still floating, so maybe we got to figure out how to get those people back on. So we have one, two, three. We have four people on. Five. Six. Seven. Okay. Uh oh, we have eight. Nine, there's another one right there. Oh, oh my gosh, yes! we have 10 people. Okay, so this group did it. They completed it, but now they have an extra challenge. They didn't know this though. They got 10 people saved. So now I have another five people that we just noticed. Did you hear me? We got another five people that I just noticed over across that needs to be saved. So keep your boat there. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our lesson on oceans. Bye! Bye.